Hello my beautiful friends, welcome back into another video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the latest CVE update on React Server Component. We have a vulnerable application as you can see right here. This welcome back, John, whatever. It's a cloud hosting uh, example lab so we can test your CVE on it. So if you don't know about this CVE, you can just go React. You can see React Server Component on this version, including React Server DOM Parcel or DOM Turbo Pack and React Server DOM Webpack Contain a remote code execution caused by unsafe serialization of payload from HTTP request to server function endpoint letting unauthenticated attacker execute arbitrary code remote remotely exploits requires no authentication so what makes actually this cve very dangerous uh, if you're running maybe you're having an application that is running into react or maybe you're doing a backbone to your apprentice what makes this cve very impactful that doesn't require any authentication or any admin privileges maybe you need the admin password or whatever so how you can actually find this cve you just go to uh, react for example right here we have asset node scanner which is a scanner that will uh, send some requests or do scanning into a list of subdomains and give you the vulnerable domains so what you need to do is you go uh, install this tool for example you go get clone then we install the required packages by doing pip install requirements txt then we try to scan this application as you can see right here is python scanner dash u and you go into our tool for example i already installed this tool into my machine we go cd react then we're gonna paste this command right here then we're gonna get our domain which is this vulnerable web application into the cve so we click enter as you can see we're having vulnerable one which means this host that we provided is vulnerable to this CVE. So we can run a remote kit code execution to this application. I'm gonna show you how you can prove the impact by running by running um, a remote code execution. So we're gonna do clear. And you can also use the Nuclei templates. You can go into the project discovery, the famous founder of HTTPX and Nuclei and other great tools. You can copy the Nuclei templates and do nano scanner.yaml you name it dot yaml then we click enter and you, pay, you paste uh, your uh, yaml configuration or yaml uh, configuration file that you're gonna give to nuclei to scan for this vulnerability so what we need to do is go back okay do nuclei okay as you can see right here nuclei.l which you give it a list of domains that will uh, use the scan.yaml, the configuration uh, YAML configuration file that we gave or we made. Then we click enter. As you can see, it's already detected that this domain is vulnerable to a CVE uh, 2025 You can see it's an HTTP critical into this domain. And before we go ahead and end this video, I want to announce that I am launching a one-on-one -on -one private coaching. Well, if you're interested in learning more about Bug Bounty or you're getting started into Bug Bounty, I am offering to teach you on real-world examples by solving some realistic labs and hunting on a real-life targets together. Because learning on uh, practice or learning by practice is the best way to learn. And I am here to offer you one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching. Well, if you're interested or you want to learn more about ethical hacking you can join our bootcamp or uh, you can join my one-on-one -on -one private coaching if you're interested please click the link on the description let's keep going with the video so having this it's already enough to confirm this the vulnerability exists into the application but you need to prove that this application is ready or uh, you can run a command or you can uh, do a remote code execution into this application so i made a tool uh, on my desktop you can go to desktop that will run a specified command to prove the impact of this application for example you go clear i'm gonna go into app then i'm gonna do uh, curl.sh i'm gonna do domain we're gonna copy the domain right here and we paste it then we do dash c then we're gonna do id as you can see it runs an id for us if you go back again and we do cat uh, famous etc password cat etc dot password and we click 
password and we click enter you can see it's already given us the configuration of the etc password so this is how you can actually find this uh, cve into an application but sometimes if you're having a list of subdomains and this application having a firewall already installed you're gonna be blocked and you're gonna miss finding this uh, vulnerability or this cve right here so what i recommend to you is you go to shodan Okay, you are going to shodan.io and you go back to this uh, YAML configuration file and you can see that right here, it's really including us uh, shodan dork or shodan query. We copy this right here. Then we go back and we do paste. Okay, as you can see right here, it's giving us some IP addresses to scan. So what is uh, why we're doing this step right here? So this step right here is really important if you're trying to do firewall bypass or WAF bypass. Why you need to do this, uh, this trick right here? Because the firewall is going to be the wall between you or between the attacker and the server. So if the attacker is trying to do some scanning or maybe doing some SQLI injection or XSS or whatever, maybe an LFI or an SSRF, he's not gonna be accessing directly into the server. He's gonna be having this firewall that will block his scanning or maybe his payload. So we need to get the IP address or the origin IP address of the server. So we need to be interacting or scanning directly the server and avoid all uh, the noise that we are getting from the firewall so you get these ips right here and you do the same thing and you give it to the nuclei or maybe you give it to uh the asset node react to shell and it will give you results that you need to scan on well this is the end of the video if you have any questions or any uh, misunderstandings you can type them on the comment section or maybe you have some suggestions for the next video you can also type them on the comment section well if you like this video please click the like button and subscribe button and also i included uh, the bootcamp and the one-on-one -on -one coaching uh, link on the description if you want to check it out that's it for now and see you in the next one